Hey guys, so back with another video. This is going to be a short one. Uh, it's just with regard with regards to the um, uh, 7500 milliamp battery that I got off of eBay. Uh, I'm gonna, I've been taking uh, stats for the last four days, and uh, it's pretty impressive. The Zero Lemon 10,000 milliamp battery came out, but it and it comes with a rugged case, comes with a clip. Um, but it looks pretty honking big so I don't know uh, I also just recently upgraded or, or flashed uh, the latest update for the Jedi Elite ROM so it says 4.1 but it's, it says 4.1, but it's the 4.5 that I flashed. Pretty sure that is. Okay, so let's get to the stats. Um, I just, like I said, I just flashed this ROM, so it's it's running bare minimum right now. I'm running like three screens just to get the stuff I usually use up. Uh, where am I at right there? Okay, so these are the stats that I have so far. So there is a day missing in between here just because uh, when I was flashing with Winamp and something else, every time you do a, a reboot to change something in the system, it messes up the battery stats. So even though my, my phone has been on for over four hours, it resets back to zero, which was weird. So anyway, these are the, the, this is the first day I, was, I got uh, 15 hours on before I... I from the time I unplugged to the time I plugged in, that's what I got. Screen time was seven hours, 27 minutes, and my battery level at that time after 15 hours was 18%. Here, obviously I didn't use my phone as much. It was on longer, but uh, I brought it down here. Uh, and so on and so forth. You can see it if you want, you could pause the, the video and you know scrutinize it or whatever you want to do. But, um, if you've seen any of my other videos from my first note to uh, any of the other phones that I was using, um, you know that I'm a, I'm a big fan of the fat ba fat batteries just because uh, uh, I go I, I go through the batteries really quick. Now a lot of people will say, "Oh, I can get two three days, blah 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 blah," but don't forget. There's so many variables when it comes to a phone as to what you do with your phone. If you're constantly streaming HD video, if you're constantly checking your email, your screen brightness, what's that at? When you're somewhere else, is your is everything always on? Is your Wi-Fi always on? Is your sync always on? Is your Bluetooth always on? You know, is your GPS always on? That all has, you know, a certain amount of play when it comes to what you're doing with your phone are you streaming you know music all the time uh, are you gaming all the time you know that's why people I, I get I, I see people on the on the forums and they're like oh I can get a day and a half on the stock battery yeah that's nice and they, they get seven hours of screen time but or whatever I don't know four or five hours of screen time that's nice but Obviously, what I'm doing compared to what they're doing is a lot more intense because I'm burning through a stock battery in four hours. So, I don't know. But uh, regardless of that, everybody's usage is different. So, I definitely like this battery a lot better because it looks like pictures that I've seen that were released uh, on it's actually on XDA forums it's a developer forums if you if you just google the uh, 10,000 milliamp 
extended battery for the Note 3 by Zero Lemon. It looks huge. The battery looks, actually not, not so much the battery, but the case, the case that it comes with and the back that it comes with, it looks huge. And I was thinking of getting it, and it's 60 bucks. So this is the back that comes with it. Holy crap. You know, this is 7,500 milliamp. There you go. Max power, if you, if I got it from eBay for like 18 bucks. If you want to get this, just pause the video if you want to check out the battery. And it comes with the back. You can tell them what color you want. That's me. I tried, I tried something stupid. See all the fingerprints on there? It's really annoying. So I thought maybe if I scuff it up, it won't get so much, but now it looks ghetto. But it doesn't matter because it has a case on all the time. That's, uh, yeah, for 18 bucks, 7,500 milliamps. And as much as I abuse my phone, I, uh, I'm getting a full day's use out of my phone. And that's pretty impressive for me because I have not received a uh, fat battery yet for any of my phones that will last me a full day's use. Um, they didn't make the Zero Lemon 9300 milliamp battery for the uh, for the Note 1, and they didn't have the Note 2, and that's when they started coming out with those batteries. So, for 18 bucks, 7500 milliamps, this lasts me uh, all day, easily 15 hours, 16 hours for fun, with about you know 20% left battery life. And uh, that's with most of the stuff on my, you know, sync is on, Bluetooth, I only only usually use in the car, GPS, I usually don't have off and my brightness is around half. But, uh, that's, um, anyway, for 18 bucks, 7,500 milliamps, and as much as I abuse my phone, it lasts me the whole damn day. I plug in at night and it's good to go in the morning. If I decide to get another battery, I just might get uh, another one of these and just keep it on keep it on tap on the charger so I could just hot swap them out and uh, you know I really have no worries after that. It does give us some heft, but I'm assuming it's not as hefty and as thick as the uh, the uh, zero lemon one. Um, that's it guys, tell me what you think. Uh, I like this, it has, you know, has all the proper holes everywhere. Like I said, when you first get it, it is kind of a little bit warped. So I, I just run it under hot water and then bend these things in because they were all out like this and stayed like that. But now it's, uh, after a week's use, it's taken the form of the uh, the phone and it's, uh, it's great for 18 bucks. So the 10,000 milliamp battery is like 59 bucks. It comes with the case, but then it comes with the case, screen protector, or the rugged case, and there's another other flap or door, so you can use a stock battery, and then it fills in the gap or something like that. But check it out for 60 bucks. Um, it's pretty nice. But for 18 bucks, 7,500 milliamp. For me, I think that's the good the good fit for me. Anyway. That was my review. You see, you've seen the stats. Yeah, that's what I think of this battery. It's a great buy. Go for it. It doesn't make it as thick. It's still pretty sleek. You know, my only complaint was I wish this was the TPU type of case that was a little bit more tackier. You know, it's got kind of a slick feel to it. But you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. All right. Have a good day, guys.